One of the greatest parts about WiseCam is that it can send a notification to your phone if it detects motion and sound. In addition to that, every time WiseCam sends you a notification, it also means that WiseCam has automatically recorded a 12 to 15 second alert video and uploaded it to the cloud. So you can review it later and see what happened to cause an alert. We'll talk about how to access and watch these alert videos next, but for now, let's just talk about how to turn them on. Alert settings are made on an individual camera basis. So to find them, you'll need to be in a specific wise cam and then tap the gear in the top right corner of the screen. This is the camera settings screen where you'll see three types of settings. Right at the top, you'll see alert settings. Within alert settings, you have the option to turn on motion detection. Turning that on means that this wise cam, whenever it detects motion, will record a 12 to 15 second alert video, which it automatically uploads to the cloud. And then the cloud sends a notification to your phone as long as you're allowing WiseCam to send you push notifications. Just a heads up, right now WiseCam uses a pixel comparison algorithm, not actual motion detection. So if the pixels within the frame are changed for any reason, you'll get that motion alert. In order to manage the number of notifications you receive, we've given you a way to reduce the sensitivity of your motion detection between low, medium, and high. The next setting is sound detection. Your WiseCam records audio as well as video, so if you'd like, you can receive a notification if your WiseCam hears something. Sound sensitivity can also be toggled between low, medium, and high. You'll never receive more than one motion or sound alert in a five minute time frame from a single WiseCam. WiseCam takes a five minute cool down period after each time it sends an alert. This protects you from getting constant alerts if there's something triggering an alert repeatedly over a long period of time, while also helping us maintain lower storage costs so that we can offer free 14-day cloud storage on your WiseCam. Following your motion and sound settings are your smoke and carbon monoxide alarm detection settings. WiseCam has a smart sound recognition algorithm that can detect the unique tones associated with these emergency alarms, as long as they aren't more than 10 years old because those beeping patterns have changed in the last 10 years. So with the smoke and carbon monoxide detection turned on, your WiseCam will now send you push alerts if your smoke alarm goes off, if your house is on fire, if something crazy happens. So the last thing here is the alert schedule. With alert schedule, you can set up a start time and an end time to receive alerts. So if you don't need alerts when you're already home in the evening or something, you can schedule them to automatically turn off when you get home from work. Select your desired start time and end time with these scrolling number wheels, and you will only receive alerts within that time frame. An important thing to keep in mind, when your WiseCam isn't scheduled to send alerts, it won't record motion alert videos either. No alerts are sent and nothing is uploaded to the cloud. Lastly, if you decide that you want to receive alerts all day again, just change the start and end times to the exact same time and you're good to go. And that's it for alert settings. In the next video, we'll talk about where to view your cloud stored alert videos. We'll see you in the next video.